Hey guys, hope you all are well and welcome back to this kitchen and it is the first week of November, quite cold outside here in London but it, it's not as cold as it is expected to be. It is 15 degrees now, quite windy outside and in this evening I'm planning on to make a very good snack, Gobi Manchurian, which is lip smacking, irresistibly delicious. So let's quickly start with it. I don't want to stand here in this cold weather without my coat on. There are two steps to this recipe here. At first, I'm going to get the cauliflower florets ready, fry it in the pan. And as a second step, I'm going to prepare the sauce to be added to the fried cauliflower. So let's go on to prepare the batter first. Here I have 50 grams of plain flour. So add in 50 grams to a larger bowl. 50 grams of corn flour, which gives a good crispiness and a coating to the cauliflower. Add required salt. I'm adding quarter spoon. And now I'm going to add quarter spoon of white pepper powder. I don't want to add more. Just quarter spoon would do. Give it a mix. And now add in some water to make the batter. Make sure you mix up the batter really well so there are no lumps in it. It needs to be kind of runny. Breaking all the lumps. Here I have 300 grams of cauliflower florets, which I have washed it in lukewarm water with salt. And I patted it with tissue to take the excess water off. Now pop these florets. And just to make a point here, that I have taken smaller florets so they are nice and crispy when you fry them and it don't go soggy. Open everything there and give it a nice mix. Make sure every floret is coated in the batter mix. And now I'm going to add in some corn flour, sprinkle it some. So it thickens up a bit. Look at that, it's coating up really nice and well. And that's the magic here. Believe me, this snack will taste fantastic. And you can't stop eating or enjoying it. Pour in oil to the heated pan. Now make sure the oil is in high flame, it needs to be super hot and add in the florets little by little and do not clump it all together because they might stick on one to the other. And you have to fry it until they are golden brown. Gobi Manchuri is such an easy and a quick snack, which anybody can prepare it. Do not leave it for long till it blackens up, else it will taste bitter. That is one of the tips. So here I have fried these florets to light golden brown in color. Mm. This tastes really nice, even by itself. Just to let you know. And the last batch, getting them ready. That's it. Now let's get it. Let's get ready for the sauce. So here in a separate pan, I have poured in one and a half spoons of the same oil which I used to fry the florets. And this is to prepare the sauce for cauliflower. 
now the oil is hot as soon as the oil is hot I'm adding in chopped garlic and I have taken some 25 grams of chopped garlic Take it. It gives a very good flavor. Just as it turns slightly golden brown, I'm adding in the chopped spring onion, and this is the bottom portion of the spring onion. At first, I'm taking, and the other bit, the top bit, will be for sprinkling. Onion and garlic gives a very good flavor to this recipe. And I've got some red chili paste here. I'm going to add just one spoon of red chili paste. Add some salt to the sauce. Do not add more because we are going to add soy sauce, which will also have salt in it. One and a half spoons of ketchup and do not miss adding ketchup to it. Adding in a pinch of sugar, adding sugar enhances the taste and add in one spoon of soy sauce. Give it a mix. Now add in the cornstar mix to it and give it a nice mix. You will see it getting thick. Adding in the florets to the sauce. Give it a toss. Sprinkling, sprinkle the spring onions. This is super hot and super delicious. Gobi Manchurian is ready to go onto the table, and this looks so appetizing. Sprinkle in some sesame seeds to give it the crunchiness as well. Super delicious Gobi Manchur is ready now to go into my mouth. Mm. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Bleep. I'm very sure you can hear the crunch. Mm. There I go. The sweet, the spice, and the salt, the tanginess from soy sauce. It tastes amazing and it's a very simple dish, believe me. It just takes 20 to 25, 20 to 30 minutes for you to prepare it all in all. And guys, hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you have enjoyed this, make sure you go and cook right away. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends and give a thumbs up as well. So, bye for now and take care. Thanks.